Let's get to the part where we start to answer some questions. Here's Heidi for that story. The Centers for Disease Control said Tuesday that Americans should prepare for the spread of the coronavirus across the country. We can't wait for the virus to finally get here to get prepared. Dr. Michael Osterholm, director of the Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy at the University of Minnesota, said the same thing earlier this week in a New York Times op-ed. We are going to be hit. We're going to be hit hard here. We're going to see transmission that uh, surely can rival what we saw in parts of China, and we need to be prepared for that. A study published in JAMA looked at more than 72,000 COVID-19 cases in China. Of the confirmed cases, there was a 2.3 percent fatality rate. The study found COVID-19 to be less deadly than SARS or MERS, but more easily spread like the flu. If you're transmitting to a lot of people, you don't need to have what we call a high case fatality rate or the percentage of people who get it who die. With MERS, you about uh, 25 to 35 percent of people die. With SARS, about 10 percent. But with seasonal influenza in a bad year, it's about 0.1 percent. This is running about 2 percent, almost 20 times higher than we see with even a bad flu year. So this still, while not like SARS or MERS, is still because of its potential to effect so many, many, many more people is going to really uh, cause us some real problems. U.S. health officials confirmed 53 cases in the U.S., but problems with the coronavirus test developed by the CDC have limited testing. Right now, besides CDC, only three labs in the whole country can test for this. It's a big bottleneck. We've only tested about 500 individuals in this country. A country like South Korea has already tested over 200,000. Dr. Osterholm said the most important thing we can do right now is prepare our health care facilities. And at the very, very top of that list, it's about protecting our health care workers. So we have to protect these people to be able to provide that care. That means they need the protective equipment, the kind of respirators, the face masks, suits that they need. And right now that's in terrible short supply around the world. Dr. Osterholm said we also need to make sure we have enough hospital beds and enough drugs to treat patients. It turns out that the vast majority of the critical life-saving drugs we use in this country are actually made in China. And those supply chains have been severely compromised. And we're working a lot on trying to make sure that we know which drugs are going to be short. You mentioned pandemic. Is this a pandemic? Of course it is. Um, we're there. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of terminology you use. For some, calling it a pandemic denotes some kind of a negative issue that they don't want to go there with because it seems too scary. To me, pandemic is a mindset. And we can either use pandemic as a word that makes us all quake and fear, or we can use it as a rallying cry to say this is what we're going to do to fight it. U.S. health officials announced today that human trials testing a potential vaccine for COVID-19 are expected to start up in six weeks, but Dr. Osterholm said he believes vaccines for this are still years away.